do you have dysthymia? If you know me, you know I hate labels, but people like labels because it helps them to explain and understand things. What is dysthymia? Glad you asked. It's a mild but long-term form of depression. Today's video is going to go over six signs of it. It's also known as high-functioning depression, which kind of seems like an oxymoron, but stay with me. It's when you have constant worry about the past and or future. Anxiety and depression are like the worst best friends that you never want to have. They always seem to be in pairs together. Hmm. It's where you're constantly ruminating about things that you or other people said, worrying about them, wanting to go back and fix or change them. It's when you struggle to concentrate even on daily tasks like reading emails or working, even while watching a movie or Netflix. You just have a really hard time following anything for any length of time. It's when you feel extra irritable, like super cranky all the time, even with the people that you love and they're the closest to. And you might find for no reason at all, you start fights. A lot of people wonder if this is where they're the narcissist. You may find that you're avoiding social situations or you agree to go and you say you will and then you cancel plans last minute and you just find that you'd rather be alone a lot. Feeling like you're constantly tired, wiped out, have zero energy, no energy, or just really low energy, even when presented with doing the things that used to give you so much joy, happiness, and energy. It's not there anymore. You may find that you're turning to unhealthy coping mechanisms, like having a drink every single night to wind down. You may find that this needs to be uptaked every night. That drink that calmed you down last night, now won't calm you down and it doubles. Make it a double. This can also lead to overeating, eating when you're not hungry, eating to numb out, check out, and ignore all those things that you're feeling. You may feel like your mind just won't turn off, like it has a switch and that switch is stuck on on. And this really presents itself at night when you need it to turn off making you have a really difficult time and struggles with sleeping, making you feel unable to control or avoid getting stuck in these negative cycles, these negative thought cycles, that is. If you're going like this, you may have dysthymia, but akuna matata, <laughs> I say that all the time to my daughter, means no worries. Just because it feels like that now doesn't mean that it always has to feel like that. Got to get in there and remove those unconscious subconscious blocks. Those things that are causing the problem. Don't just address the symptoms. That just makes it worse. Let's talk. 